Hey, I'm Benny from SimTutor, and welcome to this series where I'll go over a small aspect of SimTutor and walk you through it, giving my tips and tricks as we go. Now we're going to tackle taking good quality screenshots for our simulation, learning best practices and how to use a default Windows program to do so. In this lesson, we'll learn how to take screenshots using Snipping Tool, and learn where to take screenshots for an effective simulation. Let's get started. Alright, so we're continuing straight off last week's episode. Uh, what we need to do now is reset the fields so they are um, blank, so it looks like we've started fresh again. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Take that all back to how it was when it first started. Cool. And then what we'll need to do is to create screenshots. So you can do it either way. So there's a snipping tool um, on Windows. So if I just type snipping tool, it um, is a default Windows program and it allows you to take screenshots. Or alternatively, you can just hit your print screen button as well. The print screen button is um, somewhat easier, but then snipping tool allows you to save it automatically as you take each snip. So that could be a uh, cool little option. So we'll use snipping tool. Um, and you can actually change the mode here. And this will change a couple of things, but we just want a um, window snip. So we just want to capture this window and nothing else. So you can click window snip and you'll see that um, I can click the screen and it'll actually take a screenshot of this area here. Cool. So we can go ahead and we can go and go ahead and save that. I'm going to save that real quick. And we'll just go step, step one and save. The next thing we want to do is go to our, um, our screen, our flight sim, our flight, flight search thing and do the next action and then take another screenshot. So now the learner will click on one way and the result of that will need to be screenshotted again. So you can go click new and then take the screenshot and then click save and call this step two. All right, so now we're on this um, field where if I type in something, it will uh, display, but as soon as I click away, if I go click the snipping tool, it'll actually just autofill. We don't want that. We want them to actually click on it. So you see how there's one action and there's one action in typing in a U C K and the next action is clicking on the actual thing. So within snipping tool, this is why snipping tool can be pretty cool is you can set this little delay and this delay will basically uh, take a screenshot after the set amount of seconds. So if we put it to three um, and we'll just reset this and then we click um, new, We'll take, it will take a screenshot in three seconds. So within three seconds, we just need to type orc and then wait a bit. And then we can go ahead and click screenshot and then save that as step three. You'll notice as well that we actually have to type that one in. Um, because of that, we'll, we'll, cover how to, we'll cover how to get around that uh, in the next episode um, within SimTutor. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and just do the rest of the screenshots and I'll show you how they look like at the end. All right, so now that we've got all our screenshots, um, I've got them all here. So we've got 10 screenshots, screenshots in total. I'm just gonna open up one and we'll just flick through them so you can see what they look like. So you see um, it goes from return to one way and the next screenshot is the Auckland and the next one will be, um, it's selected, next is Sydney and then it'll be selected. Um, then we have it, we click on the travel date and then we click on the 20th of December and then um, click on the number of adults, increase it by one, and then we can go ahead and click search flights. So you'll notice here that the screen is the same for all these screenshots, all 10 of these screenshots, and that adds a nice um, fluidity throughout your simulation. If you have different sized images and everything, it looks really weird because things are jumping all over the place and it's not much nicer if it's just clean and to the point. So yeah, that basically wraps up this uh, episode of um, my tech tips. Uh, we're actually going to put these into use next uh, episode, um, so stick around and see that. Uh, if you have any questions about what I've done here, just email us at info at and we'll see you next time.